So I am at Long Arm Reservoir outside of Hanover. Um, there is like an old road that goes underneath the reservoir. I'll be checking out this morning. And there's some more abandoned ruins I found um, like deep in the, not deep in the woods, but kind of off in the woods where it's hard to get to. So um, we're gonna see what's down here and check things out. So here's our first sign of something under the lake. Here's like a metal cable or something. It looks like it goes into the ground. And you see how, where the water level is up there. So, um, here's another concrete foundation. And there looks like some type of rock thing, but humans could have built that after the fact. That doesn't necessarily mean it's old. So here's the beginning of an asphalt road that is partially covered by like muck. But you can see the outline of it through the water. Then it'll appear up here. Continue along, we're gonna be following this old road and see how far it takes us. You can clearly see where the asphalt's like kind of eroded off into the water, but a lot of it still remains. Um, so much like Cadoris, I'm gonna assume there was a road that went underneath here. And then when they decided to make a reservoir, they just uh, filled it in right on top of the road. You can see a good chunk of this road is exposed. Um, it looks like half of it's still intact. Other half is crumbled and eroded. And then up another part of it is probably buried under this layer of muck or mud. And it looks like this is gonna continue into the water. And then hopefully we're able to pick it up um, Later on the walk, I'm gonna do an out and back to the end of one side here. But you can see the uh, road actually continues in to the water. Right there. So just like Cadoris, here's a turtle dock and it's anchor, which looks like it broke off actually. Here's what looks to be an old metal trash can. So I'm about uh, three quarters in from where I parked on the shoreline. And here's some uh, foundations. Here's a whole bunch of rubble, concrete, uh, some conglomerate, field stone. So uh, this was some sort of structure up here. Uh, if you know what it was, leave it in the comments. This is pretty large and it looks like up there, there's some more structures. So we'll check them out walking along here another part of a foundation um, here's another part right here here's some more concrete slabs um, looks like there's more up here so at this time at some point in time this was some sort of structure that got covered over when they made the reservoir so here's another rather large foundation. I mean, that stretches about a good 50 feet up there, right on the uh, shoreline. And there's some more concrete. And uh, so yeah, this was definitely something up here. Here's another big concrete slab, part of a foundation. Um, it's like maybe some chinaware or pottery shards there, not sure. But here we have it, foundations and ruins at a uh, Long Arm Reservoir. So getting closer to the water, here is more. Here is a hole in this with uh, looks like a brick down there. And here's some uh, like clay pipes. So here's this structure and then where my dog is. There's another foundation. And then this foundation which looks like some sort of wall, maybe to a farm, I'm not sure. Runs along here, it's, it stretches probably over a hundred feet. 
and down in the water um, some other sort of wall or concrete structure and this place is just loaded with bricks and other building materials um, you see the bricks stretched all throughout here and it looks like a metal pipe in the ground there so yeah this had to be something rather large so there's that pipe that runs in i can also see the outline of another wall in there um and up here it looks like more bricks and building material so this area um, is just loaded with stuff that obviously was demolished here's some more brickwork some old wood that's been somewhat preserved by being under the cool water so about nine tenths from where I parked the uh, asphalt road reappears it looks like it ran right next to those abandoned structures so this asphalt road which is pretty intact continues along um, for a good stretch here Here's more concrete. Maybe this was, looks like an outflow pipe. Uh, maybe like a culvert underneath the road. So here looks like another pipe that, like a culvert that flowed underneath the road. Up here looks like a jumbled mess of concrete. Let's see what this is. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure if this was a foundation or pieces of a road that looks like they demolished us. They just pushed everything together. So across there, it's like, I guess, like the fisherman's access where you can park. Um, but on that side, in the woods over there, there is an abandoned, I believe, a uh, house, maybe a barn too. Uh, I won't be doing it today, but to complete this video, I'll be going over on that side. And, um checking that out so that road continues down here kind of see the outline of, I'm on like a small rock outcrop but the uh, road continues we'll see how far it goes so we picked up this road again and it looks like it's gonna continue to the end here and there's a parking lot you can see with the uh, porta potty up there in the distance where it looks like it picks back up, but I will walk to the end just to see what the road looks like up here and see if there's anything out here in these mud flats. So I'm at the end here. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't see anything out there, but uh, this is where the road ends. It looks like it just picks back up where this road was. So this is probably the old road here and they created a new one when they created the reservoir. So next time you see me, I'll be checking out the uh, other side and the abandoned structures over there. Here's a discarded deer leg. My dog Lucy really likes the smell of, good dog Lucy. So I had the fishing access area of Long Arm Dam, Hanover, PA. Some abandoned stuff down here and ruins down here. Uh, me and my dog are gonna go check out. So on those last clips you saw the opposite side and now I'm actually on this side so we'll see what's down here. So here we are down by the reservoir and right off the bat you can see there's some uh, asphalt from an old road and up here there is concrete structure and it looks like a road up there. So there's some more asphalt ruins and here's the remains of a road and then this concrete structure up here, which I'm not quite sure what it was. So yeah, if you know what this was, leave a comment. I'm not quite sure. I'm not really familiar with this um, area, like the Doris, but it's pretty close to my house. So 
that's why I'm out here exploring. Um, here's some more foundations right here. Uh, a brick, and it looks like the outline of a road goes up there, back to where we just were. Um, and then that, that road continues to where I was uh, last week. I was on the opposite side over there, which we found some ruins too. So if you follow these big rocks, um, you will come to foundations and ruins, I guess of an old farmhouse in the woods. And I'll try to show you everything. Um, I discovered this a couple months ago. Just never made a video of it. But here we are, the big foundation right here and then there's more foundations back in the woods that we'll uh, check out see if we can't find anything else so it looks like someone put graffiti on this um let's walk around here it's kind of brushy but we'll get a view and see if anything's back up in here but there's that structure. Lucy. Here we are inside of that structure. Um, concrete base. Concrete foundation and ruins all around. There's a paper wasp nest up there. So above that structure, it looks to be the remains of an old road. Uh, just see it's sunken in and leveled off. So I'm assuming it's at one time was a road um i'm gonna follow it for a little bit to see if there's any more concrete structures or anything but it looks like there's not much and it looks like it just ends but it definitely looks like the outline of a road up here so following this old road down there is some field stone and concrete right in there uh, where my dog is it's gonna be hard me to get any good pictures it's really brushy and really overgrown but there was definitely a big structure down here right off that road maybe a barn i'm not sure but here's a pretty old wall field stone and then there's some concrete pieces up there so continuing along um it looks like we're in the in the foundation um, there's a lot of big rocks. I guess we're part of that wall that collapsed. And then it looks like we're standing on right now outline of another structure. So something was here. You can see the outline right there with the large field stone all the way around. And then down here, back to where that first foundation I videoed was. And this looks like a well or a spring house right here. Yeah. It's gotta be a, a well or a spring house, I would assume. And right to the left of that spring house or well, not quite sure, maybe a bathroom, I don't know, is another foundation, um, which, it's fairly large that we're going to walk into. <laughs> like I said, it's undergrowth. It's pretty incredible here, so I don't know how much I can really get a good picture of, but I'll walk around, see if I can't find anything in here. So there's that spring house or the well. Here's the uh, walls of that. And here's a big wall. I'm going to assume this was a house. Um, maybe the barn was up there. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone discover this. I guess that was the corner of the house right there. I mean, I, I look at YouTube a lot. I haven't seen anyone else describe this structure. But there's that big, impressive wall. And there looks like another cornerstone of the house over there. So you can see this big foundation. 
It's a fairly large structure. A bunch of black walnuts down there. It looks like a squirrel cache. And then over here, it looks like a pretty intact corner. Might have been associated with a fireplace. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I'm going to search around this area a little more. See if I can't find anything else. But there's a few structures back here in a long arm reservoir if anyone's interested in finding them. Looks like uh, parts of an old telephone line and there's a telephone pole down there. There's some more related structure or related pieces to that. But uh, yeah, let me look around a little bit more. So it looks like past uh, where I said that road part was. It looks like the road does continue down. Um, there's that area we just were at. There's the spring house or the well. And so this area continues. Uh, it looks like a depression was right there. So that might've been something. There's some pretty large field stone around that, but I don't see any evidence of a structure other than that. But yeah, so uh, I'm in Long Arm Reservoir. Found some pretty cool stuff. Um, so while the water level's low, now's the time to check this stuff out and find the remains of history.